Aha, we did lose the mic. Okay, one second, I have to add a mic to this scene. Give me one second. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Like I said, I'm, I'm one person right now, so... When snafus like that happen, I'm the Okay, I think we're back now. The laptop that is streaming uh, decided it had had enough. One of the things that I uh, hardly ever notice watching YouTube streamers and, and YouTube builders and stuff when they build their machines is they don't use anti-static mats, which is fine. If something goes wrong, they've got backups on backups of, of computer components. I, however, am using an anti-static mat, and then I'm also gonna use an anti-static strap on my hand because I believe in practicing safe tech. Give me a second, I'm gonna just heft this up over here. Okay. This is a big baby. Let me go ahead and open this up and I'll show you guys what's inside right now. And in hindsight, I should not have just lifted this uh, on its side and taken these off because I can't <laughs> take it off. Come with me, Bull, if you want to live. I have to build this on carpet, but I am wearing rubber-soled sandals. So I'm really taking this safety to the highest of levels. Uh, I say that as the wrist strap for my anti-static bracelet comes off. Huh, okay. It's supposed to just lift up and slide out. I've done this before. What's going on, bud? There it is. Slides right off. This CD, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, uh, ROM drive at the front. Uh, we are going to be reusing that. I don't like the fact that everything is going non like CD based uh, these days. Uh, I still have a ton of games, a ton of programs, and a ton of music on CDs, Blu-ray, and DVD. I don't want to have to get an external Blu-ray drive. And unfortunately, a lot of cases these days don't have any uh, external 3.5 uh, mounting bays for CD-ROM drives. This one did. That's part of the reason why I got it. Thank you, Fantex, for not forgetting us old fogies who like CDs and DVDs. I uh, really appreciate it. All right. Don't worry, we'll cut that out in post. No one will know that I had sustenance. This video card here, this is actually a Radeon 7870 with ghost thermal technology. Under this heatsink here is an Intel Phenom 2 processor. That is probably the biggest piece of garbage in this build right now. Unfortunately, the leaps and bounds in technology have made it so that a two-core, two-thread CPU really isn't anything to write home about anymore. Now, I am curious to take this off and see what it looks like underneath. I am fairly certain the thermal paste has held up well. Um, I haven't had any heating issues with this CPU. The video card has had some, but uh, you expect that from a video card, especially since I've overclocked it just a little bit. There's a sound card in here. This is a, um, a Sound Blaster Audigy RX7, I think, something like that. I really don't know what that is. I got it uh, about seven months ago because I was having some audio issues. Unfortunately, those audio issues continued when I got that sound card. Uh, so another thing that we'll be checking once I have the new motherboard and new processor in is if this sound card is defective, the motherboard has an onboard sound. Uh, so what we might do when I put this together is I might intentionally leave the sound card out, play some music, play some games, see what happens, um, and then put the sound card in and compare them. Uh, so I'm hoping it's processor based because we have a new processor. This is the new RAM that I got. I'm actually gonna pull this out right now since we're here. I'm kind of sad about this because this was not cheap RAM when I got it. The unfortunate thing though is that it's DDR3 and nobody uses DDR3 anymore. This is some uh, G-Skills Ripjaws 10 DDR3 memory. I'm probably gonna keep it. It's a 16 gigabyte kit. You never know what might come up where you need some DDR3. That's the first piece out. Congratulations, guys, we're, we're making progress. It's not just me talking for half an hour. Even though it's just been me talking for half an hour. Ah, see, and I started this, I forgot to grab my screwdriver. Never underestimate the power of a good multi-tool. I legitimately tried to get a new uh, screwdriver because I don't have a magnetic screwdriver, but when I was at Micro Center the other day, they, uh, they didn't, 
have a Phillips head. They only had a flat head. Did I really do that? Oh, that was dumb. There's our graphics card. This is a very, very old card. I mean, this is an, I wanna say eight year old card that um, has a double blower set up. And those fans are not too shabby. Uh, they do a pretty decent job keeping this bad boy cool. But yeah, I wanna take this up, uh, uh, take this apart and take a look at it when I get my new video card. Cause then that way if something happens to it, I don't have to worry about it. And that's why I never got famous on YouTube. And if I can't get this dang 24 pin out, I'll never get famous on Twitch either. There it is. Okay. <laughs> we all got together to watch him build this computer and he spent 20 minutes trying to get the 24 pin power cord out. This is a 550 watt power supply. I'm looking into getting a 650 or 750, probably the 750 just because eventually if I'm gonna be upgrading the video card and stuff, I wanna make sure that I have enough power to support that, especially if I'm gonna overclock it, which I intend to do because I have the need, the need for speed. The other thing in here uh, is a Wi-Fi card because this board does not have built-in Wi-Fi because that's how old it is. It actually doesn't have uh, USB 3.0 hookups either, which is really frustrating because every case it's been in has had USB 3.0 ports um, and nothing to plug them into. No, this isn't a Sonic build, it's a Black Ice build. Although admittedly, that does sound like a really bad, like Sonic OC. This is my OC, uh, Black Ice. He's a fusion of silver and shadow and Sonic all in one. And he's faster than the, the speed of light times three. So this is the sound card. This is what it looked like. This is what the back looked like. This is frustrating because uh, I need this. <laughs> this is the Wi-Fi uh, adapter. You can see the little two antennas here. But since I put this in, my speeds have gotten very good, um, very stable on uh, Toto in my bedroom, which is the furthest point away from the Wi-Fi in the entire house because that's how I roll. God, we've been going for 45 minutes and I haven't done anything. I should probably stop talking. Ooh! -ah! Sorry guys, I've got a cat mounting another cat right now. <laughs> now the fun part, where we get to try and pull this thing out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got all of the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. Oh, I forgot. To, oh no, I did unplug it. Uh, did I bend that pin? No, okay. Pin's good. This was an Asus M5A97LER 2.0. I'm up with better names for your motherboards, guys. It's still looking like it's in good condition. I mean, none of the capacitors are swollen or, or bent out of shape. I could pull some of these heat sinks off and take a look, but I'm not gonna, because uh, I really just honestly don't care. But I do want to check this processor. So I'm gonna pick this guy up with my immense strength. Uh, noodle arms and put it over here. Okay, I'm dead now. I'm very, very, I realize my head is covering everything right now, but I am very interested in seeing what this looks like. So I'm significantly taller than the table that I'm working on, which makes things a little complicated when it's like, oh, I'm gonna bend down and work on this now. This is so old that it has frozen in place. Oh, we got it. Wait, wait, come on, come on. There it is, got it, all right. There we go. Ah, everything's falling apart. I just want to be safe. All right, so that's the that's the thermal paste application, which I gotta say, that's not bad. Now the interesting thing is, a lot of the paste has just stuck to the heatsink, not the CPU. So when I pulled the heatsink off, most of the paste came off with it. Kudos to me, eight years ago, uh, using the right kind of thermal paste. I'm gonna have to clean this off and take a look at it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, uh, cause it's old as hell, but I'm gonna put that back in for now. What am I gonna do with this heat sink? I just want to get to the side of that. So now I've pulled this guy in and out a couple of times. I keep saying guy. I like to say that I don't name my computers, my computers name themselves. This guy knew he was black ice before I did. So, and he knew he was a he. Toto was a he as well. My iMac uh, in my bedroom is a girl named Hecate. So they'll take that for what it's worth. I know everyone's going smaller these days and they're going, oh, but you know, you get the same amount of power in, in such a convenient case. And I'm like, that's great if you want a small case. I'm not here disparaging those who take their smaller cases, but I wanted this one 
to be a good hefty case. I wanted it to be a big boy. This thing is actually um, RGB, which is cool, because glowing makes me feel better. Oh, I just realized I have to take that, I have to take the power, ah, I have to take the power out. What you should do whenever you build a computer, before you put parts in a case, you should check and make sure that everything runs. If you put everything in the case, and it turns out that the case doesn't, uh, or something doesn't work, then you have to pull it out of the case and redo everything. <sighs> okay, so this is going in the bag. This is something I don't like doing. It's perfectly safe the way they make boxes these days. You can put a motherboard on the box that you got it in. I don't like doing it just because I'm old guard and, and my brain just goes, no, it's gonna explode. Which has never actually happened to me. I've never had a motherboard explode. I've had other components explode on me. Uh, not a motherboard. This is why a lot of people on YouTube don't do safe tech. They don't use things like wrist straps, and it's because it's a hassle. It's like you're walking around with a leash that doesn't want to let you go anywhere. Okay. Apologies for the giant light that's just diffusing in my face up here. I am unfortunately very tall. Most lighting fixtures that are designed to like hang over a table and be romantic, give you some beautiful mood lighting. Most of those uh, hit me in the face. How am I missing a screw? Who am I? What even is going on? What's the airspeed velocity of nothing swallowing? All these thumb screws floating around. I have to, uh. I have a bunch of cables in here that are all routed through the back. And now I have to take them out. I don't need this on right now because I'm not working with the motherboard as I kick the plate. Bear with me. Grab your bears, hug them gently and sweetly because that's how teddy bears are meant to be held. Oh, cold chamomile. Just like mom used to throw out. I'm lying, my mom would never throw out tea. If she heard me say that, she'd disown me. Why are you zip tied to the case? Who did this? Me? All right, power supplies out. I hate these so much. The fact that modular power supplies exist now is more of a lifesaver than I think most people realize. I think some people who build computers probably take it for granted too. I've been doing this for 11 years, 12 years. What year is it, 12 years? I've, I've seen some pretty significant changes in the ways that we use our technology. I'm so thankful for modular cables because it makes crap like this Obsolete. Look at this. This is a this is a nightmare. 